Okay, now we're going to see the block diagram method, and um, using this example, we'll we'll go through all those uh, steps. So the first step was to write the equations here, and in here we're going to say that the summation of the voltages equal to zero uh, for each <laughs> loop. Okay, very good. So you say that voltage is equal to I1 times R sub 1 plus you will the voltage over here is uh, this is um, when you have one <coughs> 1 over C right 1 over C times the integral of I1 minus I sub 2 dt. This is the equation for this loop, right? The equation for this loop now, you have this is minus um, 1 over c, the integral of i sub 1 minus i sub 2. Okay, if this is going this way. And then you have plus I sub 2 times R sub 2 and then plus L times D sub I dt like this and this should be 0. Anybody who has any questions about these equations at this particular point? This has nothing to do with von Gramm models or anything. It has to do only with the equations using Kirchhoff's laws <coughs> That we just obtained for for doing this. Yes, go ahead. Uh, the outside loop also. Huh? The outside loop also. The, uh, the, uh, this loop is this, and this loop is that. R1, R2, and L. Uh, R1, this is here. Never mind, no, just keep going. No, no, tell me, if there's an error. Oh, okay, so <coughs> this is the. Uh, from here we could we could we could use these equations, but they are not really in in total differential <coughs> equation form. They are in they are they have these integrals in here, so we could just use this to put it into the uh, into the form that. Uh, remember, you can say when I say remember, uh, I is equal to the Q D T, right? So if this is true, then it follows that these equations you could rewrite them a little bit. And since we have a space in here, maybe we should we should do it here in the interest of the space. Um, Let's see, in here we have, how about that, we, now that we are experts on using this, in here we can say that V is equal to dQ sub 1 dt times R1 plus 1 over C times Q sub 1 minus Q sub 2 right and then that's it on the other one we will have minus 1 over c times q sub 1 minus q sub 2 and then plus d sub q dt uh, times r sub 2 plus this would be L times D squared I sub 2 DT squared <coughs> equals to 0. <coughs> yeah? Now you see, these are the equations of motion that we have, but still, um, okay, so let's just put them in a, in a red frame. 
these are my equations of the system. These are these are called equations of motion or system equations. But, yeah. These are your system equations. Okay. Now what I was trying to tell you is that from here we can go to the simulink model from these equations. Yeah. Should that be dQ dt, not d squared i? Here? No, oh, it's uh, not I, is what you're saying, and you're right. And this is uh, D, not I, but Q, like that. Thank you. Okay, <coughs> what do you do to build this uh, block diagram models from this? I would, let, let's write it down. We, uh, you say <coughs> to generate a block diagram, Start with the sums. Start with sums. And you can see, and the highest derivative. Highest derivative. Okay. So we need to rewrite this a little bit. I would do this. I would say that the first one I would put like V minus one over C uh, times Q sub one minus Q sub two. Uh, this is equal to d q sub 1 d t times r sub 1. So this is the highest derivative on this one. The highest derivative on the second equation is that one. So if you move all this to the other side and leave that one, but we want to express this as l d squared q sub 2 d t square then this will have to be a plus 1 over c times q sub 1 minus q sub 2 and then minus and d q sub 2 dt times r sub 2 okay having done that we have set ourselves to be able to do the um, uh, the simulink block diagram, because right now what I would go and do is I would go and say, okay, look, this is the summation point for the first one, and I would say, okay, if you uh, take the output of the first, this one. Isn't it true that this is dq1 dt times r1? And in here you have one term, which is this v, that is coming up like this. And then you have a minus 1 over c, um, something like this is minus 1 over c times q sub 1, but you have also another one in here that says minus 1 over c q sub 2. Yeah? See? I have transformed this first equation <coughs> into this picture. So this is, let's call it equation number 1 and this equation number 2. So number one, this for number one is over here. Any anybody has any questions regarding the, what I just did? Okay, what I would do from here is let's change the color so that it um, makes it a little more interesting in here. I, I have a question. I'm sorry. 
Hold on for a second. I, I am going to use the simulink notation. If you divide by 1 over R sub 1, and what do you get in here? This would be dq sub 1 dt. And then in here, I do an integration, 1 over s. And what do I get? q sub 1. And then I could just put this to a place or a scope in here that I want to see it. And you could see this one relates to this. So it's just like I told you my parabola with the music, see? It's almost as if you hear some a tone in here. This has to be connected to that by just dividing this by 1 over C and you go and connect this over here. With this one, we cannot do anything because it has to come from the other equation. Yes, let me entertain a question. The negative 1 over CQ2, should that be positive? This one? Yeah. Uh, yes, because if you multiply this, this is a plus. Thank you. So this is a plus over here, and this is a minus over here. Okay, now we go to the second one. The second one we need to uh, also. I think they're both positive. In this no, one is minus. See minus q one, which is this one, oh, and yeah. the other one is plus. Yeah, yeah. So this is. If we go to the second one, let's begin doing the drawing on the second one. See here, you're going to have that the up, the output of this one is this. It's L the, the square Q sub 2 dt square. Yeah? And on this side, you have only two of these you have one that says uh, minus here I would say this is minus 1 over c q sub 2 that's this one and you have another one in here which is 1 over c to one. So I have transformed the second equation that you see into this little picture. Any questions with anybody has about this? So <coughs> what I would do now is I'll try to use the um, Let's see, um, let's go over here, I guess. Use the same notation that I, I did before. No, oh, we need green, don't we? Green. I would do this 1 over L. And then go over here and you say, integrate this once. <coughs> Because this, in fact, this one is d square q sub 2 dt square like this. And you integrate this once, and what do you get? You get d q sub 2 dt, which we need to integrate also another time. 1 over s to produce finally q sub 2. 